10 hours of flight and I'm so excited to go outside. What about you, G? Hello YouTubers, welcome to our short guide on how to travel to Tel Aviv. Now before we start, I want to take the time to thank all our previous viewers who contributed to this vlog with their suggestions. Also if we miss anything, please feel free to add any more information in the comment section. In the following vlog, we will cover transportation, hotel stay, sightseeing and good spot for food. Now let's dig in. Transportation. If you come by an international flight, chances are that you will be landing at Ben Gurion Airport. From this airport, you will have many options to reach Tel Aviv. Taxi, rent a car, or the cheapest option would be the train. Taking the train is quite easy and comfortable. We would recommend anyone to try it. The train comes at 8.05 on platform 2. The train has AC, Wi Fi, so you'll have plenty of time to rewatch this episode again in case you want to refresh your memory. Hotel stay. Now, lodging can be quite expensive in Tel Aviv. We strongly recommend you guys to use Airbnb if you want to have the local experience and save some money also. So, guys, because we're taking excursion for the next two days, we thought it wasn't uh, worth it because uh, hotels here are really, really pricey. Um, so we got an Airbnb for the next two nights. Let's check it out. It should be right here, and we should have the key in the middle. Oh, there we go. There's a key? Oh, yes. All right. It's like a treasure hunt. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you got the apartment. We found this Airbnb in the beach area. For 75 US dollars, you'll get an apartment size for the price of a very cheap and small hotel room. Plus, this Airbnb was very convenient because it is located on a busy street loaded with cute restaurants, shops, and it is at 10 minute walks away from the beach. How much is it? Uh, this was like a hundred uh, Canadian dollars per night, but the hotels are all 250 and more per night, so you have yeah. to keep that in mind. Yeah. Like any hotel. If you have never used Airbnb, use our referral link and you'll benefit from up to 45 Canadian dollar in credit. If you have a bigger budget or about 300 US dollar, the Crown Plaza city center is very comfortable. Big room, real fitness center, very convenient since it is connected with shopping mall, subway station to the airport, grocery. The downside I would say is that you have to take the shuttle that goes every two hours to the beach. I would suggest to go there if the beach is not your main attraction and you wish to easily commute with many other areas around. Things to do. Now one of the most beautiful thing in Tel Aviv would be the beach. Definitely schedule a day or at least an afternoon on this beach. It has plenty of things for you to enjoy. Community sand toys for the kids, playground, outdoor gym, shower, changing rooms, restaurants and bars. Okay guys, yeah, it's 12 shekels per uh, beach chair and it's 6 shekels if you want the umbrella. So it's 30 shekels total for the both of us. Uh, make sure to keep your receipt because sometimes you change shift and it's not the same person. So this is your proof that you rented it for the for the day. But if you leave, you're done. So you well, it's to too bad for you. You're gonna have to contribute <laughs> to the economy of the beach. <laughs> no worries about being overcharged for the chairs. The price are marked down at many spots around the beach for a fair price. The sand is smooth, water is super clear, the beach is very safe with lifeguard every 100 meters along the beach. The beach gives on the west, so for sunset lovers, it is one of the most beautiful we have seen so far in a big city. Enjoy the boardwalk, the restaurant and you will be set for a complete day with no stress. At a walking distance from the beach, you will find many charming restaurants. It will be a cheaper option than on the beach. But if you do want to pay the premium for a beautiful sunset dinner, we really enjoy our dinner at London Restaurant. Wow. Look at this. It's insane. Wow. How does it crazy? Yeah, everything is Instagram ready here. <laughs> Try that dessert list and let us know in the comment section. 
Not too far, visit the old Jaffa. It's a port with beautiful buildings and viewpoints. Save some space in your belly to eat that old man and the sea. The table opening are just incredible. Like a YouTube friend explained to me, you will enjoy the abundance. Beat the hot sun, you can visit the Carmel Market. This outdoor market is covered with shade. You'll find local, authentic restaurant, beautiful arts, and souvenir for your trip. Next to Tel Aviv, Jerusalem, it's a must go. We took the bus to go there and it was quite easy. The bus has AC and Wi Fi. So, guys, from Terminal 2000, uh, the ticket to go to Jerusalem would be 16 shekel. And it's a one hour ride. It's very simple. Find out how we get there by bus. Take a look at the vlog we link in the upper right corner. Renting a car, it's also possible, and if you wish to do so, download Waze. It is a GPS app that was developed by an Israeli company and it will also help you to find a parking spot. I would need a dedicated blog just to tell you what there is to visit in Jerusalem. But to make it short, there is a free tour available. Make sure to visit this website to reserve your spot. Well, welcome to the free tour. You guys, I'm serious when I say I'm so thankful you guys are the guys, who, uh, the people who came out today. The tour will give you a quick look around inside the walls of the old Jerusalem with historic fact. We really enjoyed it because it was very educative. To take a break from the hot sun of Jerusalem, stop by the Mahan Yehuda market. Again, authentic local foods, fresh hummus, and plenty of delicious dates. Look at this, this is hummus, all kinds. Yum, 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 yum. And we just have a one spicy hummus. Thank you. Welcome. Further away north, you'll find Haifa. You'll need a full day to visit this third biggest city in Israel. Make sure you stop by the Tourist Information Center to have more details information. Most of the landmarks are far from each other, so we would recommend to visit the city with a car. You'll find a well-groomed garden of the Baha'is. You'll need to cover your shoulder to come inside. As for us, we didn't quite enjoy the experience, but that was only us. The viewpoint at the Stella Maris is impressive and you will also find a cable car to extend the impressive view. Haifa has many small beach. If you do go by train, Dado Beach is located next to the train station. It is a perfect location to rest after a long day walk through Haifa. My name is Arad. My name is Gal. Welcome to Haifa. Welcome to Haifa! Where are you from? Canada. Three main activities not to miss if you are traveling to Tel Aviv. First, Masada. Go there early morning, it can get very hot. This site is an historic temple and the reason why they build it, it's one story that you won't forget. To go to the top of this mount, you can either go by a cable car or take the endless trekking, if you dare. A breathtaking view, it's waiting for you up there, plus the remains of the temple trace of the determination of those who wanted to fight against the big Roman Empire. Second, the Dead Sea. Alright, so we just left Masada, we are now at the Dead Sea. No need to talk to you more about this place due to its well-known reputation. But yes, you can really enjoy your newspaper floating effortlessly in the Dead Sea. There was actually people who brought their newspaper to retake that remarkable picture. The feeling of floating in the Dead Sea is magical. It feels like a natural spot. Just be careful of not splashing that salt water into your eyes. Third, Engedi. Beautiful waterfalls to end the day. From the entrance, you have to do some mild trekking to get to the waterfalls, but man, it is worth it. Fresh, unspoiled water. Picturesque location. You will not regret the effort that you put to get there. All those activities are quite popular, so I would recommend to go there during weekdays. You can find many travel agencies that will bring you to those three with a tour guide. We took one and we were so happy to do so because we had not to worry about the driving part. And also the tour guide was giving us so many historic details that it was worth paying for the tour. So this complete the condensed information that we gather for you guys. If you wish to see everything that we mentioned in more details, take a look at our daily vlogs in Israel. We know that Israel has many more beauty to discover and we hope you guys to find them during your journey. Again guys, we couldn't cover everything in this short vlog so feel free to add any extra information in the comment section. Our travelers community will much appreciate it.
finally, if you guys made it so far in this vlog, leave us a like and let us know what's on your bucket list for Israel. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate that notification bell. We present travel destination vlog weekly and it's always fun to share them with you guys. We'll see you guys in the next vlog.